All right, we're going to do another Every Mechanics video here. Once you get on close, we're working on this R6 track bike here. And it's just one of those things we want to point out about there's just better ways to do things. First thing we're going to start off with, we got a water pump that's leaking out of the, out of the weep hole. So as we were trying to diagnose it, we just started to notice some other things. And let's focus in right here. Now this is a, a metric motorcycle, and the first thing I see is this made in the USA hose clamp, and you see how wide it is? Yep. Well, it's not that this is impossible to work, but it's what a lot of people do is they start to over torque it. So can you see where this is flared up? Yep. Can you see that? And then also, do you see that metal tab right there? There's like a metal tab on the housing and the water pump and how the hose is pinched over it? Yeah. So the problem is, is that this hose is only supposed to go up to that, not over it. So the hose is actually on too far. This is way too tight. You can see how it's flared up, and that is not good. It will surprise most people that there is a torque spec in the manual. That's something to look at. But here, look at what else this caused. Can you see how this one is not in the proper place? Yep. And then you can see the old witness mark right there? And that witness mark, because this clamp was tightened in this way, and it's too large in diameter, doesn't allow this to be able to sit where it needs to. So it's creating other problems. And then do you see the tab right here? So you got this tab. This is what I was talking about. This is correct. This is on the right, you know, the right length, and that's how that uh, should be so that you can just move this up. So we're going to get the right OEM clamp or the correct clamp. Let's look at what a correct one would look like. See how thin they are? Yep. So the head of them is not near as big and would allow this to sit in the right position. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, last thing. And this is just attention to detail. I'm going to take the flashlight away. Let's kill the light on the camera. And it's pretty dark in here. Okay, mm -hmm. so focus in here. And this is our problem is this clutch lever is not installed where it needs to be. So let's zoom in here. We'll get good light on here. Do you see how this... The, the bolt here is basically only on the edge of the clamp. I'm going to go ahead and push it correctly. When this is installed, that should be bottomed out all the way back there. And what you're trying to do is this, and these get bent a lot when you crash or in racing or whatnot. The idea is that this cable will line up with the arm here. If I have this out here, I'll have to loosen this up and move it back. If I have this out here, it's putting a bind on the cable and every time I uh, open and close that it's dragging across the cable and that's going to prematurely wear it. Does that make sense? Yep. Alright, tension to detail. Every mechanic should know that's how we want to do it the right way. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.